The new HTC One A9 does not try to be a more powerful handset than the flagship One M9. It does, however, try to do things a bit differently, possibly showing us the direction that HTC intends to go in with its future smartphones. Design The HTC One A9 is a beautiful, all-metal piece of tech, which measures at 57.3 x 27.9 x 2.8 inches and weighs 5 ounces, 143 grams. On its front, it has a 5-inch display, accompanied by a fingerprint sensor at the bottom something that is new for HTC. There are no hardware navigational keys to be found, however the phone still employs Android's virtual buttons for that. The phone's bezels are fairly thick, with its screen-to-body ratio falling at 67%. The One's A9 metal body has smooth, non-aggressive shapes, with rounded off corners. Its front is entirely covered by a 2.5D Gorilla Glass 4 slab and its back is slightly arched towards its ends to ensure an easier grip. Unlike other HTC flagships or higher-end midrangers, the A9 has one speaker, nested on its bottom. Hardcore Android fans will be happy to know that despite the phone looking like a sealed, all-metal handset, it actually has a micro SD card slot, which can accept theoretical cards of up to 2 TB. On launch, the handset will be available in carbon gray, opal silver, topaz gold, and deep garnet. Some finishes will be region-specific, so the rumored rose gold and cast iron may only be sold in select markets. Display The HTC One A9 rocks a 5-inch mold panel on its front with a resolution of 1080 x 1920 pixels, bringing its pixel density up to 440 ppi. This should all result in a pretty sharp, dense, bright, and vivid imagery. Of course, the downside is that mold screens can suffer from overblown and inaccurate colors, but we will judge that when we have more time with the handset. As previously mentioned, the phone's display is protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass 4, spreading on the phone's front edge to edge, and rounding off at the ends to keep uniformity with the metal body's soft corners. Processor and Memory The One A9 doesn't aspire to be a powerhouse. Under its hood, there is a 64-bit midrange class Qualcomm Snapdragon 617 humming with four of its cores clocked at 1.5 GHz, and the other four at 1.2 GHz. The phone will be available in two variants one with 32 GB of internal storage and 3 GB of RAM, while the second will have 16 GB of storage and just 2 GB of RAM. Both variants will accept micro SD cards for expansion purposes. Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. Meet the new Marshmallow from HTC on October 20th. The invitation for today's virtual event stated. And indeed, the HTC One A9 S Sense is built on top of Android 6.0, making it the first non Google handset to bear the brand new Android version. This means granular app permissions, native fingerprint support, Google Now on tap, and Doze mode, which will hopefully mean more battery life out of that 2150 Mac juicer. Android Pay works with the phone's fingerprint sensor out of the box. HTC Sense UI is known to be a pretty light reskin over stock Android, so if the manufacturer continues this trend with the One A9, we should expect a snappy, nearly unaltered functionality, with HTC's visual theme slapped over it. Additionally, customers that buy the unlocked phone directly from HTC will be able to enjoy timely Android updates. HTC promises that patches will hit the A9 15 days after any official Nexus update is pushed. How long it will receive updates for, however, is yet unknown. To sweeten the pot, phones bought directly from HTC will have an unlockable bootloader, without voiding their warranty. Camera 
it seems that HTC has finally steered away from the idea of using the ultra-pixel tech for its main cameras for good the 1A9 rocks a 13MP sensor for its rear camera, assisted by optical image stabilization for those dynamic or low-light scenarios. The camera app does not fall behind the competition and offers a pro mode, granting the user control over ISO, shutter speed, and white balance. The 1A9S camera can also capture raw images, allowing those who are a bit more knowledgeable edit their own photos post-shot. Alternatively, one can use the, the phone's own photo editor, which has a one-tap enhancer that auto-corrects raw images. The ultra-pixel tech can be found on the front, the phone's selfie snapper employs HTC signature tech to provide superior performance in low-light scenarios. The company is currently keeping mum about the resolution of the frontal snapper, but we would assume that it's the equivalent of 4MP just like it's on the HTC One M9S front camera. Boom sound. The HTC One A9 doesn't have stereo front firing speakers like the One MX series used to have, however, boom sound has still found its way to the new phone. This time around, it's incorporated with the headset that comes with the phone, combined with Dolby Audio surround tech. The A9S headphone amplifier is set to deliver double the output of other handsets, which should give users more headroom for superior dynamics. HTC will also be selling the HTC Pro Studio earphones for superior noise isolation and sound reproduction. Connectivity the brand new Snapdragon 617 Sports X8 LTE modem, allowing for CAT7 download speeds of up to 300 Mbps and upload of up to 100 Mbps Volte support is also on board and, in the, the United States, the phone will support FDD bands 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 12, 13, 17, 29. HTC didn't make the jump to USB Type-C with this phone there is a standard micro USB port on its bottom. It does, however, support fast charging, via HTC's optional rapid charger. Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 support is also promised to be upcoming in the near future. Price and Release Date the HTC One A9 will be released worldwide and will be sold by various retailers as well as straight from HTC. In the USA, you will be able to pre-order an unlocked variant of the phone, in opal silver or carbon gray, as soon as 12.30 p.m. ET. Carriers should start offering their own exclusive colors soon. Customers who purchase the handset from HTC will also get one-year protection under the UO program, which should net them a replacement unit, should they accidentally damage their phone. The devices will also come with a six-month subscription for Google Play Music.